Hey everyone, it's January 16th, 2013. That's crazy to say. Um, I haven't done an update in a while, and I've meant to on a number of occasions for different reasons, but I just haven't. And excuse my awful voice, I got the flu on Monday, so I've been home on my back just reading, and actually it's been really nice, um, aside from feeling like shit, but yeah. Um, so anyways, a lot has actually happened. Um, over New Year's was a lot of fun. I went up to Portland and visited my friend Wes, who his YouTube channel is Your Pal Wes. Um, and uh, and then Forrest um, came up and visited us, and uh, his is Closet Transgender. And we met up with Gabe, who's Zeddy number, can't remember number. But um, so it was so much fun being able to hang out with guys in real life, uh, which I've met a couple of YouTubers in real life before, and it's just always so much fun. Sometimes it's kind of hard, because it's like, wow, I know so much about you. What do I ask? What, what's conversation? But it wasn't hard. Um, and I was going to make a video about it, because it was just a different experience for me, but um, Wes beat me to it, and he made a video, so I'll put that in the, in the link below. Um, and then Forrest made a couple of videos as well, so I'll put those down below, too. Um, we had a chance to do some filming um, on the last day, so that was a lot of fun. Um, so I'll put those in. And then this past weekend I was in San Diego and it was actually kind of a big weekend. It was kind of the final big coming out that I had to do. Um, so my mom and I flew down to San Diego and my sister met us over there. And pretty much the purpose of the visit, aside from just visiting family, was to finally tell my Oma about my transition. Because up until now, we hadn't openly told her about my transition um, and it the fact that I'm transgender. Um, and there were kind of a lot of reasons behind not telling her. Mostly just because she's she's older, 84, 85, I don't remember, um, has dementia. So it's just like we didn't, we didn't really want to bother her with the information. Um, so that was kind of a family decision early on was not to tell Oma, which I, you know, I was never really happy about, but I respected my parents and my aunt and uncle's wishes of not to tell her, so I hadn't. Um, but the hard thing is, is that I've seen her since, since starting hormones and since having surgery. Like last April, I was in, uh, where were we? San Bernardino or somewhere, and we were all swimming and I had my shirt off, and so I was like, oh, this is kind of unfair, not telling her. So I had been really wanting to tell her for quite some time, and then out of the blue, my mom calls me and is like, you know, I've kind of decided that I, I, I want to tell Elma, so do you want to go down and see them? And I said, yes, please. So we went down, and I, you know, honestly, going in, I was not very nervous. It, it was, one part was that her reaction didn't so much matter anymore, because I'm so far along that it's like, you know, what, you know, what's that going to do? You know, it would, it would, I guess it would hurt, but at the same time, it's like, mm. and then I honestly, I expected nothing less than her, you know, just being kind of okay with it. Um, funny story about her is that she was the first person who ever, oh my God, whoever bought me a suit and tie. I had to go when I was down spending time with her one summer, um, one of her friends passed away. And so I had to go to the funeral. So she bought me my first ever suit and tie, um, and she's always been very just supportive and loving of me, and we always joke that I was my Opa's favorite grandchild, which still am. Um, he passed away when I was five, though, but still. Um, so I wasn't really nervous about it. Uh, so we went and visited her. She's kind of in one of the um, assisted living homes where she has her own apartment, whatever. But so we're sitting there, and we kind of bust out the old family photo albums, mostly back of when she was in Holland, because... Um, she remembers those memories and remembers those people. Uh, so we were looking at all that and it was a lot of fun and she was pointing at everyone and I have a huge family that I'd never even realized. But so we're sitting there and I, I'm sitting next to her on the couch and I lean over and give her a kiss on the cheek. And then she, she just kind of like perks up and she's like, that's been a long time since I've been kissed by a boy. And we all just kind of start laughing. And my mom's like, so you kind of realize Dana's is a boy now, huh, mom? <laughs> and... So then it just kind of opened the conversation, and it was just this, the best segue I could ever imagine. Because I'd been hesitant up until then, how do I segue into this topic? Um, so that was just the best thing ever. And so we talked openly for like an hour about, you know, I 
I really didn't inundate her with too much details at all. My mom actually shared more about, you know, Data's d done hormones and blah, blah, blah. And I show I actually showed her my scars from surgery. And she's like, do you have a penis now? And I'm like, no, Oma, no penis. Um, but it was just, it was just very, very cute. And, um, you know, she kind of caught on to the, um, to the pronouns, actually, which I was really surprised about. I don't actually think she heard, I don't know if she actually said he at all, but it's like the he didn't bother her, and then she would say, you know, her grandsons would, when I was there with my cousin, so it was just, it was, it was a very interesting experience, and just so awesome, um, and you know, we asked her how she felt about it, and she's like, I don't care at all, she's, you know, and we told her a lot of the reactions of, um, the rest of the family when I first came out, and like, my cousin Andrew, his, like, before I even told him, his reaction, I had seen him at a family function, um, and it was around the time I had just come out to my parents, hadn't even come out to my sister yet, but I was dressing masculine again and had a short haircut and whatnot, and we were all hanging out, and he just gives me this bear hug, and he's like, I feel like you're back. Like, my cousin's finally back, because I grew up as one of the boys growing up, and then I went through my girly phase, um, but then he's like, I feel like you're back, and so, we, you know, we told her that, and it was, it was actually very touching, because... We got a lot of actual honest-to-God laughs out of her, which we haven't in a long time, just because of the dementia and her personal affect is kind of gone. So it was just, it was very nice and um, so glad we did it, because I would have honestly regretted had she passed away and I had never openly told her. Like, I thought about that often. It's like, I would, I would be very upset if I never openly told her, because I felt, I felt like I was disrespecting her and just her, almost her love for, for me by not telling her. So I'm really glad we had the opportunity to do that. And you know, whether or not she remembers or whether it takes reminding um, every time we talk to her, at least now, it I don't think that's something that she'll forget. Or at least now, it's like when we do remind her, I know the reaction. Um, and you know, I've called her and every time I call her, I try to increase the pitch of my voice a little bit um, so that it's not so deep, but it's so hard. And so now I don't have to do that. And so it just feels good to be finally out to everyone in the family because she was the last person in the family on both sides that did not know, um, including like European relatives. So that was that was very good. Um, and so, yeah, that was kind of the big the big trips this break. Um, I wish I had video footage <coughs> of <coughs> sorry video footage of uh, me talking to Oma, but I don't. And honestly, it's one of those ones that I don't, I honestly don't think I'd share. Just, there are a couple, couple things that I've caught on video that, oh my god, huh, um, that I'm not willing to share. Just, they're just too personal and too special. Um, like my unwrapping after surgery. But, anyways, um, I will insert a picture here of me and my mom and sister and Oma, um, just we took it right after I told her. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Sorry, that was really fast and probably lots of ums and likes, but I don't care. Um, any, yeah, that, uh, anyways, uh, thank you to all the new followers that all of a sudden there was like an explosion of <coughs> people following me, um, which I really appreciate. And I hope everyone's doing well and had a awesome holidays and, um, a happy 2013, which is still crazy to say. So, hope y'all are well. Bye.